the last day, y'all. <laughs> last day here at the barn. We it's August 31st. Yeah. 2021. Yeah. It's about seven something in the morning. Mm -hmm. We had so much fun with my family at the open bus last night. Mm -hmm. It was cool to show it off. And um, everyone loved it. It was cool to see people in the space. Yeah. And like have people buzzing around and there's several people in here at a time. So it was really nice because it just shows like it's big. It's massive. There's a lot of space in here to hang out. So yeah. I love that. I love that. What I found was interesting was a lot of the people who came uh they had been in the bus back when we first brought it to ontario back in september of 2021 because we had a fam jam there mm -hmm. and uh, we we're all like oh let's bring the bus and it was completely empty nothing had been done to it yet and uh those people mo majority of them came to check it out and they're like just seeing their eyes and yeah. how excited they were they're like oh my gosh we had no idea it was gonna be this yeah it's kind of hard for people to get it like when yeah. you first buy the bus and you start working on it and it's taking forever and people mm -hmm. are like why are you doing this like this doesn't even make sense just buy an rv yeah but then when they saw how customized it was and how beautiful it's turned out mm -hmm. um they were really impressed yeah and they like i don't know it was cool yeah it was cool really cool so now today we are gonna bust our butts and get as much of the stuff done so this is like brian's <laughs> list of stuff I don't even see that, but it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't even include all of the cleaning. No, definitely and not. The packing and wow. So my list consists of things that we need either a specialized tool or we have large pieces of plywood or lumber that need to be cut and placed. So that's what I'm gonna start on. What are you gonna start on? Oh no, okay, on. Um, I'm probably gonna start organizing the stuff. Yeah. And then when you need me in between, I can yeah. be sanding and buzzing Perfect. around doing that kind of thing. Um, yeah, we need to make uh, sense of what's on the pallets in there. Yeah. I have to make sure all the drawers and stuff are lashed. Mm -hmm. um, we did this nice lashing on the cupboards um yesterday to drive yeah brian taught me a few knots and uh these are pretty solid nothing moved nothing moved we didn't have problems with anything we had a couple drawers like just slide out just a hair so it'll be nice to make sure those are protected and they don't fly out i doubt they're gonna fly out they're so heavy and even when you pull them out almost the whole way and then they like let the weight hang on them they don't fall so they should be fine but we still want to lash them up our toothbrushes fell over i found a solution to that what else oh the thermometer fell thermometer fell this guy but we had it in kind of like a precarious place just like hanging off of this thing yeah so. it wasn't mounted it wasn't mounted properly so we, we don't really need that hanging yeah. but yeah we didn't have any big crashes or smashes so i'd call that a success tardy wave on breakfast time y'all i'm gonna work on the door frame Coffee table. All right, we need to frame this up. It's looking good. Oh, you might not have seen me finish this, but there's the hallway wall entrance wall. It's looking good. We got a nice railing on there, mounted the fire extinguisher. So there's a hole up here that needs to be patched and there's two more back in there. This needs to be covered and then um, have a frame built out on this side over here, right through here, uh, because the door doesn't quite seal 
there at the bottom because there was hinges or whatever. So uh, let's figure out how we're gonna do this. Coffee table! Look at that, y'all. Ah! We're gonna route out the guts of the table, leave the table thick, but route out the whole underbelly so we can do folding legs under it. We need to use the router to do that. So we're doing that before we go, but we'll finish building the table and doing all the epoxy and stuff from the road. That sounds like a great plan. This is black walnut, just like the countertop over here. Um, and it's got a lot of great character to it. It's live edge on both sides. So yeah. this is how wide the tree actually was all the way across. And it's about 60 inches long as of right now from one end to the other. And I think it was like uh, 30, I forget how wide it was. 28. 28 wide. Or 30 something at the widest at the point. Widest point. And then this is 25 and the top is 28. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty so cool. we'll cut a few inches off, you think? Like yeah. take a good five, six inches off maybe? Yeah, does that look good on, <clears throat> on your side over there? That's pretty good. I mean, it just depends how much. Like, this is nice. If what if we do, like, take two inches off that side and two inches off this side? Yep. Um, and then leave the live edge on the sides. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. Look at this. Guys, it's getting loungy in this place. Yeah, it is. two inches cool so we could rip that first with the circular saw mm -hmm. we'll uh, use the square edge to get our lines mm -hmm. and then after that set you up with the router yeah And then there's the two incher right there. You want it to be kind of square to that side? Yeah. There. So hold that right there. Okay. Not there. So we have 60 and an eight. And then Fifty-nine and an eighth. Is that fine? I think it's fine. Okay. <laughs> now, what, this might be the sixty. Here, go to the other tick. One sec. Fifty-nine. Here, and let's do it till it's sixty. Okay. And an eighth. That's it. That's sixteen and eight. Nah. Just it looks weird. Let's just cut them square themselves. Yep. Yeah. All right, so hold your side. Because this looks parallel to the end already. Yeah. Uh... All right. Go up. Ready to cut. All right, so this is the side that we're going to route out and we're gonna keep a two inch radius on there. And so what we're doing is you just get the speed square and just follow it along like that. This is where it gets cool, guys, watch this. And it's not a perf, it's pretty close to two inches, uh, but it'll kind of change depending on the shape. Here it goes. Ready for this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's a little square for the curves, but but it'll that's still great. it'll still get it. No, I was just teasing. Yeah. Good job. 
That's a great idea. So Aaron's going to route out the center. This is uh, two inches thick. Ooh, it's inch and three quarter. Let's take a few measurements. Yeah. Inch and five eighths, inch and three quarters, inch and three quarters, inch and three quarters, inch and three quarters. Maybe you'll take out three quarters of an inch. Okay. You do that yeah. quarter by quarter? Yeah. So. Quarter by quarter, layer by layer. Cool, you're rocking it. Okay, I'm gonna do this part. Good job. I appreciate you helping me. Yeah, sure thing. You're doing a great job. Like you're, just keep going nice and slow and you'll be fine. Okay. And when in doubt, just let go of the trigger and just let it come up. Yeah. Okay. And blow off as much as you want, as frequently as you want, just so that you, if it ever starts getting clogged up, blow it off because visually that's most important. Right, you wanna be able to see yeah. the lines. Okay. Okay, rock and roll. All this dust calls for some mask pro. All right, I'm protected. Let's get back to it. Okay, this is amazing. When I was working without the respirator, I was like, Ooh, and I could hardly breathe, and now I can breathe. So, this is good news. Good news. This is a messy, messy job. I got the first layer of the routing done for the table. Check this out. Garcia! Yo! How are you making out? I am making out. He's making out. Making out, y'all. I'm doing good. So this piece here, this is a uh, reclaimed skid wood from massive skids. It was kind of gray and dingy. I threw it through the planer. I think it might be cherry. This stuff is super hard and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful wood. Um, or it might be red oak because this also has similar grain to red oak. So I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, but this piece here will go right here on the frame so that when this door closes there will be weather stripping here and the weather stripping will hit all the way along the uh, this edge of the door right here. So um, the light switch is kind of in the way so I got that notched out uh, but the handle and everything is uh, perfect and so before I put this in I was all like, oh, well, I already have the part of the wall installed here, but I need the, the plywood that's gonna go along here and along this face here installed. So I'm switching gears from installing this piece to install this so I can install that piece. <laughs> typical, typical. <laughs> it's gonna make it look really sharp though, y'all. Yeah.
had to do another pro upgrade. Goggle pro! Seriously, I'm getting so much shit in my eyes, it's like non-stop. So Brian was like, why don't you just put on goggles? <laughs> and I have goggles, so why the heck not? It's definitely a pro upgrade right here. <laughs> I kind of have a feeling I'm going to get shitty tan lines though. <laughs> <laughs> what was happening? Everything. I couldn't breathe and I couldn't see. Not good when you're trying to be a human making things. So this is actually awesome. I need to, I like, we're on the last day of the build, kind of, at this location. And I could have been wearing goggles and this awesome respirator the whole time. <laughs> I've been missing out. No dust. No dust in my eye holes. I'm a mess. I even have dust in my undergarments, like, <laughs> a lot. So the uh, farmer's wife, one of the property owners, just showed up and uh, she asked us, hey, when are you guys uh, taking off? We are like, oh, well, we were told that we were allowed to be here till tomorrow morning. And she was just like, nope, not tomorrow morning. You have to be out by midnight, midnight tonight. It's 8 p.m. right now and uh, we are crunching trying to get all of this built by midnight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of it stressed out. Yeah, but it's just part of the whole the whole game of life, right? You're throwing some curveballs and uh, it's up to us to catch those balls or not catch the balls. Cry about the balls. We're uh, not crying about the balls that we are catching. <laughs> So, I've been uh, building as much as I can. Uh, Aaron's been putting putting the packing all together and building stuff also. That uh, the table that she's been routing out. Need water. Thank you. Good pick. Hard pallet wood. <laughs> All right. So now, let's see, this is 11 and 3 quarters. So we need this to be at 11 and 3 quarters. The bus is pretty level, so let me see if I can level this. We uh, put some blocks under the tires uh, last night when we got back, and now the bus is level. It feels really good. I'm making sure to hit the furring strip and not the electric wire that is above the furring strip. There we go. Those could live right there. We did it. We did it. We did it. It's 
been just over 23 months since we pulled in here back in September of 2019. And there's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in here. <laughs> but we did it. And uh, for all of you who are like, I'm going to get it done in six months, we wish you the best because we were going to do it in three months. <laughs> Look at the checkboard that we never did. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, 7 a.m. or something. We didn't even go to sleep because we just needed to get this done. 7 10 a.m. on September 1st. The landlord wanted us out at midnight. So we're a few hours late, but she hasn't rolled up yet to tell us to get the hell off the property yet. So we cool. We got to show you this. We never finished it um, because there was always a mountain of crap in front of it. So here's the checklist. All right, storage rack, got it. Final paint job, got it. Solar setup, we didn't do the unibrow. We did the Wi-Fi, backup camera, telecommunications. Nah, uh, we didn't do that. It was like signal booster. Refract. Refract. Alright, up here. Entry door. Oh, well, we just did that. You did that today. Well, that was fab in it. Oh, Two to door, one. yep. Underbody storage. Oh, we didn't end up doing that table drawer. No, but we Maybe. did lighting. Yep. Perimeter lights, not, not yet. yet. We got all this. All of that, yeah. Stuff for paint prep. Just had it so clean for the open house. 